Have you ever seen a peanut roundabout before? Well, if you're local to New Haven, Connecticut, you might be seeing one soon. This is the intersection of Chapel Street and Yale Avenue, right next to the Yale Bowl. It's had about 50 crashes in the last five years. It's easy to speed through, the crosswalks are long, and the sight lines are terrible. And so we wanted to put in a roundabout. Roundabouts have the best design geometry when the intersecting roads are at 90 degree angles. But the intersection of Chapel and Yale is skewed at 45 degrees, which was making the design of a traditional circular roundabout nearly impossible. So here's where the peanut comes from. If we put the circle right at the center of this intersection, it's not going to work well for these turns on the inside, on these acute angles, because they're too tight. You're going to end up needing a pretty big radius in order to make those turns work. But now these turns are separate from the roundabout circle itself, which kind of defeats the purpose of the intersection. So we thought, okay, what if we put the center of the circle all the way over here? Well, now this movement here, this movement here, they're gonna work pretty well for these two roads, but it's gonna be terrible for these two roads. Okay, what if we put the center of the circle all the way down here? Well, then it'll work really well for these two roads, but be terrible for these two. So the theory of the peanut roundabout says, why not both? Let's put one half of this roundabout and one half of this roundabout and just connect them together. And now every road coming into the peanut works really well. One question is why a peanut and not an oval shape? So regular roundabouts work really well in keeping speeds low because drivers are always having to turn their steering wheel to go through the roundabout. If we were to put an oval, we would introduce two new straight sections where drivers won't be turning their steering wheel and can then speed up. With the peanut, we have curves all the way around, so drivers are always turning their steering wheel no matter what. Here's the design plan again. It's important to know that the peanut will function exactly the same as a regular roundabout. It's just a different shape. Also, this is exciting because it will be the first peanut roundabout in the state of Connecticut.